Good morning, my beautiful maker friends. How's everybody doing today? I want to say a big thank you to Amy for letting me take over the Maker Studio Facebook page this morning. We'll give everybody just a few minutes to hop on here with us. I don't want anybody to miss out on all of the fun we're going to have. If you've got a friend that you think might enjoy seeing what we're going to be making over here today, definitely share the video with them and tag three of those friends down in the comments below. You're going to be entered into an awesome giveaway that Amy's going to be doing for us today. Looks like we've got some people joining us, and I want to say welcome to all of y'all. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Carrie, and I have a YouTube channel called Mama Dares the DIY. I do fun and easy and creative stuff, so if that's the kind of stuff you're into, you can head over there after our live this morning and check that out. Y'all, let me know, are you joining me live this morning, or are you catching it on a replay? And don't forget, if you want to be entered into the awesome giveaway that Amy's going to be doing for us today, Definitely share that video with three of your friends today. Tag them in our comments, and that's all you've got to do to be entered. So, I don't know if you remember from one of my previous lives a while back. I don't remember if it was Labor Day. No, it wasn't Labor Day because this is Labor Day. I think it might have been Memorial Day, maybe even the 4th of July. But I made this awesome set of dishes, and I love these. These are so much fun, and they were really easy to do. And that's what inspired our project today. I'm going to be working with red, white, and blue chalk paste. This is so pretty. I love the red, white, and blue color combination, don't you? And y'all... Because we are working with our chalk paste, today's project is going to be interchangeable, which makes it even better. Are you ready to see what we're going to be doing? Let's head over onto our workspace now and let's get started. Okay, makers, so here's our workspace. You can see I've got my chalk paint. I'm going to be using the color Love Bug, which is our red. And look how amazing and rich and beautiful that is. Our white is called I Reckon. And look at this beautiful navy called God Bless America. It is absolutely rich and striking and beautiful. The jars I'm going to be playing around with today are from the Dollar Tree. I've got two different sizes, but I'm not going to do both of the jars on camera for you this morning because I don't think we'll have enough time. I'm just going to do the one, but I want you to see that you can get different size jars from the Dollar Tree. I do, however, want to do another bucket. I actually use this bucket at Christmas time, but I wanted to pull it out for you and show you how you could use the same things for different holidays using our chalk paste today. Okay. So I've got a little towel or cloth that I'm going to lay out so my base doesn't go rolling all over the place. I'm also going to be using some paint brushes today. I'm going to be using our chalk paste and I'm just going to be painting these with a paintbrush and also a little foam brush that is in the shape of a star. This project, y'all, is so easy. And don't think because we're not using one of our mesh stencils that it's going to be hard because I promise you it's not. It's going to be easy. We're all about easy, easy, easy. Okay, look at this color. This is the color called God Bless America. It's a beautiful chalk art from Maker Studio, and it's this rich, dark navy color. I'm going to be using the, the paint from in the top today. I'm going to just set my jar over here to the side, and I've got two different size brushes, or actually a couple of different size brushes that I'm going to be using. For my stripes, I'm going to use the same size brush, so I'm going to lay these two to the side. And this one's just a little bit smaller. But y'all, there is literally no right or wrong way to do this. I promise you. So I'm just going to stick my hand into the jar to make it easier to paint. I'm going to start at the bottom. I've got my chalk art loaded up. And watch this. I'm just going to drag that chalk art up. If you are wanting like super straight lines, you can tape this off. But y'all, I love this really hand painted look. I think it's just fun. And I love that you can look at it and say, wow, that was hand painted. I do want my edges to be just a little bit straight. But when I get to the end, I'm just going to kind of pull up on my brush. To kind of give it that, so you can see the brush marks there. That looks about the size I want it to be. The great thing about the chalk art is I can make a different design by simply washing this off and using it for a different holiday. 
I don't know about you, but living at the beach, I definitely sacrificed space and size for location because we don't have any storage space in this house. Okay, so while the blue is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to our red. Y'all, wait until you see how beautiful this is. I honestly wish I had some lipstick in this color. It is so beautiful. And again, I'm gonna work with the color that's in the top. I'll grab another one of my flat brushes. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we did with our blue. I'm gonna load this up and I might actually have to move some of my paint off because the top of my red had more paint. Another good pro tip for you is if you've got plates from the Dollar Tree, those also make fantastic little paint palettes. Okay. So watch this. I'm just gonna drag this up. Isn't this easy? I told y'all don't be scared because I told you we're gonna be doing some hand painting today because it is super easy. You can't mess it up. Now I'll skip some space and leave that for my white. And I'll go in and I'll do another stripe. And it doesn't have to be precise. If precise is what you're looking for, then you can definitely go in and you can tape off, make your lines perfect, but honestly, who has time for that? I would rather use my time for other things. Who has time to be perfect? I just want to have fun. Okay. How pretty is this already? Isn't this easy? Y'all don't forget, if you've got a friend that you think might enjoy what we're doing over here at a maker studio this morning, just tag them in our video today. Share it on your wall and you can tag them that way and you can be entered into the giveaway that Amy's gonna be doing for us over here this morning. Who would not love to win a prize pack from a maker studio today? Okay, so my white, which is called I Reckon, and can we just have a little appreciation for Amy's names for all of her paints? Because y'all, they are absolutely fantastic. Being from the South, I highly appreciate her awesome names. They're so stinking cute, aren't they? Okay, and we're just gonna repeat this process for the white. Easy peasy. And remember, this is chalk paste. So this means it's gonna be washable, which is great because guess what? For Christmas, I can change this out to my Christmas colors and I don't have to keep putting up all this seasonal decoration. So I think that's a win-win. And it would also be kind of cool to see how this kind of happened where you can see kind of the blue wasn't dry all the way, that would actually be kind of a cool technique to do, wouldn't it? To where all the colors sort of ombre in together. So my blue is not quite dry yet. You can see when I go back over with my stars, I wanna make sure that that blue is completely and totally dry. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm just gonna set this over to the side so it can. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this red vase. This is just a little metal vase. I honestly don't know where I got it from. It may have actually been at the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna decorate this little vase too. I usually have this for my Christmas decorations. I'll use this when we have Christmas parties and I'll put our silverware in this just as a little silverware holder. And it's just a fun little piece to put on your table. 
You can also just put your, put it on your table for like a flower decoration too. So I'm gonna load this up and let me just grab one of my Dollar Tree plates here. I wanna make sure that this is, the entire thing is loaded up before I start stamping. I don't want any wonky stars. Okay, y'all watch how cute this is going to be. I'm actually going to grab some of the blue too, and I'm going to do some different size stars on here. And this is just an easy way to sort of jazz up and reuse some of those decorations for different holidays. If you don't have the problem with storage, then Y'all may not understand the struggle that I have, but if you do, you know exactly where I'm coming from, don't you? Not to mention having to get up and down out of the attic to get all of those decorations put up. That is just not fun, is it? <laughs> okay, so let's go and do just a few more of our stars. Maybe I'll even put one here and sort of roll it over to the edge. How cute is that? I kind of like the way that looks. Are you gonna be doing any fun things for Labor Day? We're gonna be, like I said in the beginning, we're gonna be doing a little barbecue with some of our favorite friends and neighbors. And these are just some little things that I'm gonna be doing to add to the tablescape. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a little bit smaller star. And y'all, I think I got these little stamps at one of the craft stores, but I really am not great at painting stars. So this is why I love these little stamps, okay? Look how cute this is. And something this simple took this Christmas decoration into a patriotic decoration, didn't it? And remember, I'm using chalk paste. Y'all know what that means? It's washable. So when I get ready to use this for Christmas again, all I have to do is wash it off and bam, it's back to Christmas decor. I'll show you the plant that I'm going to put in here too. Oh, that is so stinking cute, y'all. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Don't you? Here, let's go ahead and put our plant in here. Look how cute that is. That's going to be really cute sitting on my patio table for our little party we're going to have. So this is still not all the way dry, so I'm going to grab my blow dryer. I'll mute it before I do so you don't have to listen to that. Let me go ahead and put my tops back on my chalk paste because I don't want that to dry out. I'm also going to go ahead because I'm done with our red and our blue. I'm going to go ahead and put this into my water and get those brushes washed out. And I'm through with my blue one. So let me mute the sound really quickly. We'll dry this and then we'll have our stars put on. And y'all, these two projects are done. One thing I really appreciate because I'm really an impatient crafter is how quickly the chalk paste dries. I mean, it's really, really kind of fascinating. Okay. Let me get a little bit of my chalk paste because I'm going to be doing several stars. I'm just going to put some of my chalk paste on my plate here so I can get this closed up. 
and this is why I say that this would be a great project for the kiddos because the chalk paste washes so easily. Think about how fun it would be to give all of your kids, if you don't want to do glass with the kids, I totally understand, but you could do some plastic bases. Let the kids go crazy with the chalk paste. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Now let's stamp some stars. How cute is that? What do y'all think about these two projects? Another thing that would be super cute, if you've got more than one jar like this, you could do one in the blue with the white stars, and the other one you could do in the red and the white stripes. And when you set those on your table, you can do them like that. I think that would be another cute idea. But don't forget, check your Dollar Tree for these super inexpensive glass jars, because y'all, they make fantastic vases, don't they? Let me know what you think about this project. Also, don't forget to let me know, did you watch me live today or did you catch me on a replay? And also, if you want to be entered into the giveaway that Amy's gonna be doing for us over here at a maker studio this morning, share this video with on your timeline and tag three friends. I promised y'all that this was gonna be a super easy project, didn't I? Isn't this adorable? I love it and it looks great with our patriotic dishes that I made. When I have my barbecue, we'll use our dishes and I'll put these on my table for our tablescape. And y'all, how about this awesome vase that normally goes in my Christmas decor that can now go onto my patriotic tablescape as well. Let me know what you think about our projects today. Also, don't forget to let me know, did you watch me live today or did you catch me on a replay? That's all we've got time for today, my friends. Until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.